the reality is that the creative commons they're giving away not only the mechanics which they don't necessarily have the right to own or give away but they are also letting you use all of their text and we should say why that's important because mm -hmm. there's this word called templating we, we need to understand this word called templating and this was what mm -hmm. ryan dancy brought this up because there are a lot of people okay so he said the concept of temp templating templating is this in game design and he said they specifically at WotC used this a lot and kind of laid all the found work, foundation for it really in Magic the Gathering. They said, we're going to template the language for every rule because mm -hmm. you've got this mechanic, which is an abstract thing. And then you've got text, which is an expression about how to describe it. And they realized that if you need to reference a rule on 10 or 12 different cards, you don't want that rule using different words on all 12 of those cards, even yeah, if you're exactly. trying, especially if you're trying to describe the same thing. So we said that's called templating. So the, the rule is written one time in this particular language that they like. And then anytime you need to use that car, that, that rule, you use exactly that language. Mm -hmm. So that's templating within one publication house, like one publisher. Seems like a good rule to follow for game design. But now with the, with the SRD under 1.0A, that allows us to basically do templating across the entire gaming industry. So if you need mm -hmm. to reference that, whenever we're worried about these mechanics or working with these mechanics, if you want to talk about how to make an attack or how to use a specific spell, you now have access to the canonical expression of that rule that you mm -hmm. can use and you don't have to come up with your own expression because we don't want 50 different game publishers. If we're all trying to use the same rule set, we don't want 50 different game publishers to have to come up with 50 different ways to write how to make an attack in Dungeons and Dragons. Like somebody said, we don't have to have people start using wording like tumbling polyhedrals, access to your inner light brought that. I was like, yeah, exactly, right? We don't want to do that sort of weird gymnastics to try to come up with weird ways to say things. Right. We do not want to do that. That was part of the additional genius of the OGL that allows us all to do that. Um, and, uh, and and because I see in my comments a lot, there are a lot of people who, who say that or a, lot, a fair number who their comment on all of this is, well, then just. Or they you know it's easy. It's easy. Just rewrite the SRD in your own words. Could you just do that easily for me, Mark? <laughs> well, I mean, no. I, I don't think I could just do it easily, you know. <laughs> and I, I don't think you could just do it easily without bringing down the wrath of Hasbro, right? I think that's the other danger there is that well, at that point, you're basically painting a target on your back. And that's heroic. And I, you know, good job to anybody who does that, but. Maybe maybe it could be done, but it would be like having a stack of 400 sheets of paper and like you're doing the exercise on plagiarism uh, anywhere in your school. Okay, now read something, read it, read it, read it, understand it. Now flip it over. Now go to your, your computer and type what that is in your own words. That's yeah. what you'd be doing for 400 pages. And then you end up with all of the, then people want to know how different does the expression have to be? Exactly. Right. Which the OGL and our philosophy of open gaming and open gaming content was eliminated that and that's why it's so important to preserve one of the one of the reasons it's so important to preserve yeah. it eliminates all of that ambiguity and all of that questions 